Hey guys, it's Travis Energy here, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to format a uh, hard drive um, that you can uh, format to WBFS and put Wii games onto it and play on your soft modded Wii that I've uh, showed you how to do in another tutorial. Okay, um. First thing I'm gonna get you to do is download a link in the description below. It uh, it's not very big. There's actually two there that I'll put there. Um, one's called Maxter Max Blast, which uh, seems to work all right. And the other is called Swiss Knife, which works pretty good too, I say. The one I'm gonna show you now is called Swiss Knife. Um, Maxter Max Blast is a lot easier. But uh, if you hook up your hard drive, you're going to want to uh, pick it out, so find which one it is. This one here is uh, the one I've got hooked up right now. You're going to want to click Partition and Quick Format. And then uh, you're going to click Hard Drive Format, and uh, you're going to want to click that right here. And uh, make it to... Uh, you can make it FAT32 or NTFS or whatever. Make it FAT32, it works best. And then you're going to want to click right down there to create. I've already done it, but uh, I'll show you what I mean here. You're going to click right there. Make that no. And uh, mine's already done, but if yours isn't, you can. it'll work for you. You're going to want to put it to FAT32 like mine is there. And you're going to want to click create. Mine's already created, so that's done with that. When you're done, reboot your computer and then uh, have it turned on when you uh, go back into it and when I go to my computer it'll show up. You can do this max blast too, except with uh, max or max blast say you have uh, a whole terabyte and you only want say 200 gigabytes or 300 gigabytes in a single partition for your Wii and you can partition into other things too but uh, yeah It'll, they only do um, FAT16 or whatever it is, FAT32, which is what you want, and FAT N NTFC FS or whatever it's called. Anyways, here's my hard drive here. It's empty, same as yours should be. So to format it, I'll give you those two programs. If you want to do it all really quick, I suggest you use Swiss Knife. But if you have a, a larger hard drive, Let's say uh, a terabyte. You're gonna want to use Maxter Max Blast and just make certain partitions. Okay, so when that's done, you're gonna want to download another link in the description called WBFS Manager 3.0. It's very easy to uh, install and set up. <clears throat> you may have to extract it using WinZip or WinRAR. So when that loads up here, I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, I'm going to open up my computer. And um, the hard drive that I want to uh, use for my Wii, it's uh, right here, you can see it says G. And uh, that's the name of it there. So, so the letter is G. I know that, and that's what I need to know, because we're going to need it in here. So when I go to the drive over here, and I go down, G is what I want. I want to load G. It's not going to work, so I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit Format, and I'm going to hit Yes. <clears throat> it says an error occurred while formatting the hard drive. That's fun. I'm just going to do it again. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. An error occurred. Well, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to load it. An error occurred, of course. How about I refresh the drive list? I'm going to go down to G. G is what I want. I'm going to format it. Push yes. And an error occurred again. Okay, I'm going to close the program. I'm going to boot it up one more time. Open the program one more time. <clears throat> this should work. 
always works. I'm going to go to G. I'm going to hit Format. Yes. Format complete successfully. It's now ready. Okay, so as you can see, I had a few problems at the beginning, but if you do it again and again, and maybe close the program, open it up again, maybe try turning off the hard drive or unplugging it and plugging it back in, trying again, it'll work. Okay, so uh, it's formatted. We're all ready to go. I don't have a Wii. Let me see here. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. Just thinking. I don't have a Wii game right now to uh, show you how to use it. But maybe I can try with another game that's not a Wii game. <clears throat> I'll find out right away. So I'm going to go to my computer where I have an ISO saved. Because <clears throat> the Wii games are all ISO files. You can get them from WiiISO.com or TepParadox.com. But I know I have Mortal Kombat 9. It's actually a PlayStation game. Just right there. Of course, it's not an ISO, so it won't work. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, I'll show you how it works. Nevertheless, you're going to grab your ISO from. A f you're going to open up a. A page like my computer where your ISO is when you download it you're just gonna drag it right into here into uh, it says games to add to WDF drive you're gonna drag them into here right in here and then you're gonna click add to drive and then it's gonna transfer over depending on the size it could take two minutes it could take four minutes it could take even longer I don't know but we games that they're very short they're very small you can do it very quickly so um, I actually have a a drive here that I can use. I'll show you really quick something here. So I'm gonna pop it in, turn it on. I'm gonna close this for now. it out. Cancel. Cancel. No. X. No. Mm. I like Windows XP because it doesn't try to say, hey, do you want to open this? Do you want to do this? Do you want to format it? Do you want it to vista? No. And I think I got one more no and one more X. Cancel. No, and one more X right here. Okay. So now when I open up WBFS Manager, I'm going to load, I believe it's I. Load it up. And I should get a list of all the games that I have. Okay, so as you can see, some of them are 1.01 gigabytes. Some of them are four gigabytes. Some of them are like less than a gigabyte. Some of them are almost four gigabytes. I think the largest one I have is probably about four. There's one there. It's four four oh eight. Yeah. So they don't take too long at all. So all you would do is put it over here. Click Add to Drive, and it'll transfer it over to there. You can put it in your Wii. Plug it right up to your Wii. <coughs> Turn it on. Go to your uh, go to your manager, and it'll show up. That'll be cool music playing and everything. You can pick your game. Okay. If there's any questions, just don't be afraid to ask. Um, have a good one.